Hey everybody, um, Chris Pettit here with uh, First 15 Live, and um, it is July the 21st, 2017. Glad to have you on here. We're going to be coming from Romans chapter 7, verse 4. As soon as you get on, please do me this favor. Please share. Please um, like uh, with a thumbs up. And please comment. Let me know you're on. Um, it's giving me a pin. I'm having to get used to it. They've changed up the app a little bit, so it makes it harder to, to like y'all's comments and such. Um, Aunt Margaret, I think I accidentally deleted one of your comments yesterday. My phone was on the fritz, and it was clicking on stuff I wasn't clicking on. and Crazy. So I had to go buy a new phone. Hopefully the quality of this looks better. Does this look any better video quality-wise? I'm coming. I, I upgraded all the way from an iPhone 5S uh, all the way up to the iPhone 7. Uh, honestly, mostly for you guys because I didn't want uh, this to be on the fritz while I was trying to do all this. So, glad to have all of you on here. Sunny, Margaret, glad to have you. Sandra, glad to have you on here. Um, Jason, glad to have you on here. Missed your Bible study yesterday, Jason. Um, Gail, good morning. Uh, Michelle, good morning. Glad to have you on here. And uh, Kevin, glad to have you on here. Pam, glad to have you on here. Laura, glad to have you on here. Ah, Sonny, I like it. I like it. Always looking good. All right. Give me some thumbs up and we'll get started. We'll get started. If you've got any prayer requests, drop them in. Um, I've got a worship song for you guys. I'm going to try to post right now. And I can, I think, pin it to the top. There you go. So at the very top of this should be a link to a video um, of the comments now. I've got it pinned to the top. And um, go ahead and after this is done, spend a little bit of time with the Lord. That's what we're all about. It's all about um, setting your focus on God for a little bit of time. So back to normal. Yeah, hey, the summer messes everybody up, Jason. So um, we want you to spend, we want all believers to spend at least a little bit of time with God every day. That's what it's all about. Um, so that's why we do this. All right, Romans chapter 7, verse 4. It's a great, uh, the first little part there is a great analogy that Paul uses because all great communicators use good analogies, good stories. And uh, he's talking about the law because he's, he's writing to some Jewish people who are struggling with uh, the separation because they've been living their lives and literally for generations, their families uh, have, been, have been living this way. Where, where their life was by the law, you know? Um, you, you do exactly what the law says, or at least you try to, and if you don't, you get punished, and, and it's kind of this deal. And uh, he's trying to explain to them how grace works and how you can live by grace, and he's got this great analogy uh, about how, you know, like um, in a marriage, you're only bound by marriage as long as that person is alive, right? So uh, if I die, my wife is free to marry another man, right? Now if she marries another man while I'm alive, uh, we got problems, okay? But if I'm dead, she's free to marry another man because the law that kept her married is now annulled be through death, right? And he uses that as an example that the law, the Old Testament law, because Christ died and we died in Christ, right? That we, uh, that, that that marriage law, right? We died in Christ, that, that marriage to that law is now annulled and we are free to marry Christ and be one with him. Uh, and, and the issue that they're having, that they're struggling with, is what does that mean then? Do we get to do whatever we want? There's no such thing as sin anymore. You know, you don't judge me, I don't judge you, and, and we just go on with our bygones. And that's that's not what he's saying at all. And in verse 4, he kind of wraps it up with this, saying this is the point. And then at the, at the end of the verse, he says, the point is that we can have a harvest of good works. We can produce a harvest of good works. Because in the law, they thought the good works were just following the rules. And because of that, they missed out on mercy and love and grace and all the great things that Jesus provides. All the amazing things that he does. Because they were just trying to do what they had to do to get by. right? But when you allow Christ to, to overtake you and, and you step away from, here's all the rules, right? And you step into, I want to please him. Uh, again, like if you think of relationships, before you're married, you got that kind of glaze in your eyes. Like you don't have to say, you know what, I want to buy her a gift. You know what, I want to be nice to her. You know what, I want to take her out to eat and spend time with her. 
No, you're hungry. You're like, man, I, I can't wait to see my girlfriend. I can't wait. And that's the same way we should be with God. I can't wait to spend time with God. I can't wait to do things for God. And when you fall in love with Jesus, can I tell you something? Uh, that's how you feel. And you have your ups and downs, of course, like any relationship. Uh, but but the more time you spend with God, the more in love you'll fall with Him. And the more you'll see yourself produce good works. Not because you have to, but because it flows out of your relationship with God. And so many of you are like the the the, the Jews were, where you come from a religious background. You got to do this, you're going to hell. You got to do this, you're going to hell. You got to do this, you're going to hell. Can I tell you, Jesus wants to free you. You've died to religion. He wants to free you from that. It's not about what you have to do. It's about what you get to do through Christ. And when you fall in love with God, the good works just, they, they kind of flow. They kind of happen. So um, that's that's the goal. Spend some time with God today. Fall in love in a deeper way with God and watch the good that comes out of it. Because you are a world changer, my friend. You're going to change the world. Uh, but it starts with spending time with the one who already has. Mm-hmm. So love you guys. Um, let me pray for you. Encourage you today. Uh, you can make a difference, but it all starts with getting close to God. Don't forget to share if you haven't shared. Um, glad to have you guys uh, do that and, and spread the word. Uh, you are um, you're the advertising wing of this, and um, it's important. Awesome. Kevin taking the youth for mission trip, praying for that. Uh, Lord, be with them and, and transform their lives as they do that. Uh, the, you know, I'm, I'm, I believe this is something that could reach a lot of people and transform a lot of people's lives because it's so powerful to spend just a little bit of time with God every morning. So that's our goal, all believers to do that. Uh, and so this, this devotion this morning plays right into that. So you want to do good works, spend time with God, fall in love with God. And all of that flows from that freedom. So. Father, I pray for all those watching this, God, that you would transform them, draw them deeper into you, God, and through that, work good out of them, God. Bring them, a, help them to produce a harvest of good works in Jesus' name. I pray for those who are sick, God. I pray for Greg Prine. You'd absolutely heal him, God. Um, Lord, for um, uh, Alicia's dad, absolutely uh, heal him, God. Uh, for um, uh, Miss Cindy, God, absolutely heal her, God. For Ramsey, heal him, God. For Miss B, bring healing, uh, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We just thank you for your glory, God. We thank you for your purpose in each life, God. And we pray that every day as we spend time with you, God, you would work good in us and through us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey, bye till tomorrow. I'll see you at 8.30 tomorrow morning on the weekends. Give us all a little bit of time to sleep in, but we're going to spend a little bit of time with God every day because he is uh, more, more than worth it. It's the joy of our lives. And watch what God does through that. See you tomorrow morning. Don't forget to share and to like and to comment.